All right, everyone, we're back at it again. Welcome back to the channel. We're uh, another day. We're gonna keep plucking away at this uh, Supra. See how far we can get on it. Um, I think today what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get uh, these bars off and I'm gonna get some tape out. I'm gonna mark up all these lines and get all of these brake lines and fuel lines off. Now, I want to point out, like the lines are in, they're almost brand new. I don't know if you can see that, but only the ends are exposed and then it's got rubber. The whole, the whole line is wrapped in rubber. Uh, all of the lines are in really good shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark them I'm gonna inspect them as I'm going along, mark them, so I know where they're going when they go back on, and I'll see if I can't get the rest of this engine bay cleaned up, which leaves us with just the interior. So, here we go. All right, guys, so as you can see, um, what I've done, all I did was take some tape and uh, mark the lines here. So this is blue and white, this is blue, you know what I mean? The blue and white comes down and I've marked it. What I'll do is I'll take some pictures and I ran the, I just marked them all the way down back here, all right, double red, blue and green, all that stuff. And the same up top, Right, so what I've done, it comes all the way across. I've got them all marked. Now for the uh, brake lines, they're probably gonna go back on. They're all in great shape. They're all rubber coated, they're like brand new. The fuel lines, I marked them. It's unlikely we're gonna use them. I would assume we're probably gonna use some sort of um, uh, fuel system, like a full return. I don't know if you guys want to use, a, I don't know, a, a four innovations or whatever, you know. But uh, I'm pretty sure the fuel system's probably not gonna go back on, but at least we've got the mark. If we have to reference anything, it's all there. Um, I strongly suggest if you're ever doing a project like this, definitely mark your stuff. Even if you don't use it, it's nice to go back and reference it. So I'm just gonna take a couple pictures with my camera um, just so that I've got it as a reference, and then I'll start on plumbing everything and taking it apart. I'm sure you guys probably didn't want to watch me clean the floor, but I hate walking through grease and oil and, and fuel and stuff and then tracking it around the shop, so. But we've got uh, all the lines off. 
So I'll uh, probably gonna finish up here. I'm probably gonna get the rest of this, take the rest of uh, anything that's underneath apart that needs to come off. This here will come off. Um, this bracket will come off. That'll come off. Anything else, this is gonna have to come off because I'd like to get it off of the hoist and onto the dolly that we made for it. So I'm gonna uh, pluck away here. I'm gonna get the rest of this taken apart and uh, I'll update you in a few. Well guys, I got all the lines out like I said I was going to from underneath. I got the whole engine bay cleaned up. There's nothing left in it. Um, that brake booster and the uh, cylinder for the clutch fluid is, um, is you take it off from the inside, but everything's off. As you can see, I've got it on the stand. I got it off the hoist, got it on the cart that I made up for it so I can start taking the interior apart. I'll probably attack that tomorrow, um, get the interior taken out and start getting the wiring out. And then uh, I'm also going to start, uh, I'm going to take apart the, the rear sub-assembly and start deciding what we're going to do there. And I'm going to probably get the engine off that front cradle, get that suspension parts taken off that, um, start dealing with that. So that's it for today's video, guys. Um, I do just want to point one more thing out. Yesterday, I put out a video, I answered some questions. Um, I told you guys that I get a ton of help from a ton of friends. Obviously, I didn't name them all because I didn't have time. My beautiful wife uh, did mention one person that I did not name um, that is a huge help to this channel, and that's Avery. And uh, for you, those of you that don't know, Avery is the um, one that does all of the editing. I struggle to put stuff up on Instagram. Uh, tear on a car apart, that's my wheelhouse. Computer stuff, definitely not my wheelhouse. Um, so again, like I told you before, I have a ton of support and a lot of help um, with the channel. And Avery is somebody that you don't see very often, but he's here every day editing videos, doesn't ask a thing for it. Um, so I will tell you, if he ever said, you know what, Scott, I'm out. I don't want to edit any more videos. The videos would stop coming until I found somebody else to edit them. So um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. Anyway, guys, again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe for your chance to win the Veilside Super when it's done. We'll see you in the next video.